Alright guys, welcome to my first MC Edit tutorial. Um, this will be these will be quick instructional videos on how to use MC Edit. I've re received quite a re few requests on how to make bedrock walls for a UHC map. So here it is. These videos will be about five to ten minutes in length and are not for entertainment purposes. These are purely for instruction. So first you're gonna need to download MC Edit, uh, mcedit.org if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the correct link in the description below, and um, you're gonna want to install that. Uh, just place it in your desktop. Or, uh, don't place it in your desktop. Create a shortcut, place it on your desktop, run it. You get to a screen that looks like this. Then you'll want to go into Minecraft, load up uh, the perimeter of the world that you want for your UHC. You don't have to load the whole world; just the perimeter where you want the walls. Um, the space I'm going to be using is a 1,000 by 1,000 area. Hopefully you know how to TP to 500, 500, 500. Um, I recommend putting pillars out of a r easily recognizable block. I used pl wood planks. Uh, that will help you to see when you're in MC edit which block is the corner. All right, so hopefully you know how to do that. If not, I suggest you go look at some Minecraft tutorials. This tutorial will be focusing on MC edit. So load up the perimeter. Um, close Minecraft, that's very important. Uh, otherwise, MC Edit will not be able to use the most recent version of the world. So, uh, we're going to click Load World, UHC Walls, that's my world file. Click Load, come to the file here, you can see I just added one of the pillars here. Um, this is actually an acacia biome, but MC Edit doesn't do biome colors, so. It's not for show anyways. Alright, so to move an MC edit, uh, hold down right click and that will be your view. Um, just use the mouse X and Y axes. Alright, um, ASCW move left, right, uh, forwards and backwards, and Q and Z move up and down. So now we've got that. So we're going to start with our first corner here. Double click on one of the blocks in the pillar. Then you're going to find this orange plane on the bottom here. You're going to click and drag that down until you reach bedrock. Now you're going to click on the top plane here. Drag this up. Oh, I don't know. I should do about... I should get it maybe 175 doesn't really matter. Um, players will if they really wanted to escape. Um, so if you're doing this with a server, like a public server, uh, you probably want to have some sort of plug-in to stop them from going over there. Or I mean, you really, if you really wanted to, you could go all the way up to the top of the map, but that's really not necessary. Um, and there's, it's really a lot harder to do this in the nether because you're going to be able to use nether portals to escape this anyways. So if you're on a server, you're going to need to do more effective means of stopping people from escaping than just a bedrock wall. Um, for my purposes and for when I do UHC matches uh, with my friends on the Mind City server, I just, the bedrock wall is mostly just to just tell you where you're not supposed to go, not to try and stop you really. Alright, anyways, now we need to figure out uh, which way to whoops whoa which way to drag these walls um, I believe it's that way and that way but I need to figure out so now I'm a little bit little ways away from that pillar and hold on oh no ah no like that again. Okay, let's come up here. Again, the height doesn't really matter. All right, now um, I'm going to go to to find my coordinates. Um, actually, this is the wrong direction. Uh, let's try this direction. Yes, this is the correct direction. So we will drag this this way, and then you want to watch this number right here. When it gets to 1,000, you're going to want to stop. 
Now, there's no rule that says it has to be 1,000. There is a rule, however, that all the walls need to be exactly the same length, or you won't have a perfect square. That's not a Minecraft rule. That's not anything to do with UHC. That's just simple, plain math. All right. Oh, stop. Get back up. Okay, cool. Now, you're going to go to the Fill and Replace tab. You're going to type right here. Whoops. Bed rock. Click OK. And then click Fill. Wait for this to do it. Works really fast. Then just click to e select and you have a giant bedrock wall. Double click here. Drag all the way down to the bottom of the map. And then you're going to want to drag it this way. And then this one we're watching the length. Uh, getting pretty close. Okay. Stop clicking. Now we've got this selection. We're going to do fill and replace. Add rock. Okay. Fill. Deselect. Start at the top here. Oops, wrong plane. And we'll drag it all the way down. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's interesting. And it also looks like that I placed the pillar wrong. Or I did something wrong. But the point is, I know for certain that this wall is exactly 1,000 long. So. Don't need, to, don't need to worry about that pillar, especially since it's outside the map. So, there we go. We have that selected, and then we'll drag this. Again, watching the width down there. And... Come on. Yep. Let's just make sure this world's all loaded in. I didn't make a mistake. Good. Fill and replace. Uh, it's already got bedrock selected. We can click OK. Fill. And I think this is our last wall. So let's select it. drag all right and right about here we should see our old wall drag it back into position right there perfect exactly a thousand fill it bedrock there we go there you go you have your bedrock wall and post in your map now make sure you save your changes control s or go to the mc edit and save we'll go ahead and do that it may take a little while to reload the chunks or uh, and relight them but yeah uh, thank you all for watching Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more MC Edit tutorials, and I'll see y'all, see you guys all next time. Bye.